literally freaking out right now. You'll find you'll never have to look too far. You don't have to cover up your scars. You're perfect, darling, just the way you are. So before you think to rip yourself apart, open up my heart and you'll find love. On you. No, okay. I, I didn't know. I was you didn't know what was going on. Today is Lucas's fifteenth birthday. Happy birthday! Happy Lucas. birthday, Lucas! We love you. We do love you. For baby. those of you who missed yesterday's video, we are in Vegas because his biological brother lives really close to here, and we really wanted them to be able to spend time together and reunite. And it was everything I hoped for, and then some. There was tears, and we were all in the background, like. Oh, it was I just cannot so wait to sweet. see the footage. I wasn't oh, there. He was with the little kids in the other room, so it just wasn't obvious that there was something going on, but oh, it's so sweet. Okay, anyways, um, we are going to go wake everybody up and go down for breakfast and then just have a really fun <gasps> birthday. We're <laughs> excited. <laughs> and I hope this day is just as amazing as Lucas is. So let's go wake some kids up. I don't think anyone's awake. I think I need oh. to wake up first. Okay, wake up! <laughs> wake up! Wake up! <laughs> Aurora, you're awake and ready, huh? Oh, bright eyed and pushy tailed. <laughs> that, that's a good thing, right? Bushy tailed. Bushy tailed. Hey, you want to go jump on Alex? Aurora, should we go jump on him? <laughs> oh, don't hit the camera with that. Okay, ready? What are you going to do? Say, oh, you're gonna do that? Say, wake up! Uh. No, yell it like this, wake up! Okay, uh. <laughs> let's go. Wait, I gotta get the key. Okay, come on, this way, this way. Yeah, you say, up! Uh. Say, wake up, we're hungry! <laughs> You're hungry too? We're starving. Oh, it's Jake, not Alex. <laughs> I thought you were Alex. <laughs> Say, wake up. <laughs> what? Luke. Where's Luke? Huh. We gotta wake him up too. Is that Luke? Can you say happy birthday? <laughs> Happy birthday! Do you feel older today? I feel the same. You feel the same? I know. He never feel older. It's so true. Good morning! Oh, wait. Oh, Did you sleep like... good? Yeah? You're all smiles? <laughs> Mom. Happy birthday! Right, thank you. Aww. Wake up. We're hungry. We want to eat some breakfast. I'm tired. I want to sleep. Do you have something to say to Lucas? I said happy birthday, but happy oh, birthday. I missed it. You're 21. Oh! <laughs> He's 21. Mom. 21 now. What happened? <laughs> I remember right. up to me <laughs> and gave me a big hug and I swung her around and I accidentally <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm sorry, you can jump. How are you? She got kicked. <laughs> I'm chasing down the thing. He's 21, guys. It's not jolly right now. I said <laughs> Who's the first one? Aurora, you haven't 
Heck yeah. Will you be on my team? Sure. Get a yellow pretty vest. Good at this. Okay. <laughs> Today. We're gonna eat your little scabs away. Or yeah. You like it? 
You don't like it? No, you have to keep your feet in. You Does it tickle? Ow. Oh. You're to say still over it. Good job. It's the weirdest, but no less experience. And my feet are so soft. Yeah, same here. Oh I would do it again. You would do it again? You liked it? Yeah, I would recommend any of you guys that are in Vegas. And you guys want to do the circus? Kisses by fishes. Yeah. It's it was really so fun. cool. What'd you think? Uh, that was scary. <laughs> What'd you think, Callie? I liked it. Would you do it again? I would do it again. No, I don't think I'd do it again. No? You wouldn't do it again? What'd you think, Savannah? I liked it, but I would do it again. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> literally freaking out right now so I need to check out. I would like a refund if possible. Wow. Look at this parking lot compared to yesterday. It wasn't like that when we got here. Well it was packed. Look at the parking lot now. to say your goodbyes. Yeah. I mean, it was a good one day. <laughs> it was a day and a half, almost two days. You ready to say goodbye? No. Oh, was it a good week end with him? Yeah. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> we are back at home we are safe everything is good um things got really chaotic and some crazy stuff happened that we felt very unsafe and we just it, uh, it's crazy yeah we will tell the story um at the end of the vlog it did end up ruining lucas's birthdays and the plans and everything that we had planned for it um, but our kids' safety came first, so that took precedence. Joe was supposed to fly out for Lucas's birthday um, and be a part of our whole day, but he ended up missing his flight, which I'll tell you with the story why it's a weird, weird coincidence that just happened. But so Joe came over with the birthday cake just now. We're gonna sing happy birthday to Lucas, even though it's the day after his birthday, but we are gonna try to save the celebration. He still had a good time with his brother and the experience is amazing. His brother is amazing, was so helpful and just fit right in with everybody. Like I felt like everything was so good with that. Um, but let's go sing happy birthday to Lucas and then we will tell you guys all about what happened. Sparkle. Sparkle. So Joe got sparklers for Lucas, but it's not sparkly. Yeah, that's kind that's of a kind sad, of, kind of a sad sparkle. That's a sad sparkle, and I've never said sad and sparkle in the same sentence before. <laughs> <laughs> Sparkles bring me joy. <laughs> Ow, that was hot. That sparkle was hot. So I did sparkles just for you, but it's oh, kind thank of a you. Dud. It is a dud. It's okay though. Oh, well. there's still a little bit. There's a little bit. Of Any kind of sparkle is good sparkle. <laughs> Now it's sparkling. It's like halfway down before it sparkles. You're lighting your own candles. Because he wants to, because it's Cause fun. Because it's fire. I mean, I guess if you light them, then you can blow them out. I can't light one. <laughs> there's so many lighting. Okay, there's a couple of sparkles. It's catching an electric. So I just had the one dud. Oh, there is sparkles. There's sparkles! Oh, sparkles! The one yeah, dud. Happy birthday! Make a good wish. <laughs> Ew! Yay! What? <laughs> they just keep going. Happy birthday to you. Happy 
<laughs> you know Joe brought this cake, right? I'll help you live. <laughs> it's the Nothing candles that keep on life. giving. Woo! Open the window. <laughs> yeah, we did it! Wait, what the heck? Water is. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh. Thanks. Why you got chocolate in your hair? <laughs> okay, go sit at the table and eat your food. You're all done? Okay. I don't know how to do this. What? Let me show you. I don't know how to do this. Boom. Max, that is not how you open an envelope. Boom. <gasps> now you just dropped all of his stuff out. Uh, the strength to live wisely, love generously, and believe in the dreams of your heart, and always all of those things that bring true and lasting happiness because you're a wonderful grandson and you're loved very much. Happy birthday, love, Grandpa Jeff and Grandpa Vince. Aww. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> your brother's pocketing your profits. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Okay. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, so basically what happened is there was... Shortly after we went to the fish shop, we decided to go get some food. We ate a buffet. It was good, everything went good. But not everybody was there. Some of the kids uh, had decided they wanted to go try McDonald's All or the whatnot. teens wanted to go to McDonald's instead teens. of the buffet. Yeah. They're, they're teens. So we got done with the buffet. We decided to go back to the Adventure Dome. On your way into the Adventure Dome, they take pictures. And we wanted to see what pictures they got and potentially purchase them. So we were sitting at the booth trying to look at the pictures and everything like that. And I noticed there's two security guards there. And then there's a bunch of people talking to the security guards. They walk out of the Adventure Dome. And then this other person comes up and starts to close the door. Like they're closing everybody into the Adventure Dome. And I'm like, that's a little weird. Then we get the phone call. Well, that... they reopened it. And then the, one of the security guards that had walked out walks back in and acts like nothing's happening. So I'm like, okay, everything must be fine. Suddenly the phone rings. Yeah. So Hannah calls me um, in complete panic. And I can tell that she's running. And basically, I guess there were shots heard. And there was panic and everybody was running. I don't know if they were running into the hotel or out or I don't know. It was just a crazy mess. Um, basically, Hallie, Hallie and Hannah were together and they were in a gift shop. Um, and they ended up closing the gift shop because of everything that was going on. Initially, and Hallie was in the gift shop. Hannah was out in the hall. And well, they were like next to each other, but like, but yeah, yeah they like, closed. So all the little shops in there have that metal gate that they can drop. And so the employees threw the mannequins like into the store and closed that gate. And then they reopened it to let Hallie out and then say closed it again. So Hallie and Hannah book it. So I have to say Hallie, hand, like Hallie handles um, high stress situations really well. And Hannah was in complete panic mode and Hallie took her by the hand and she's like, we're going to get away from all the crazy. We're going to run and we're going to go to a safe spot. Um, so they did. That's what they did. They went out of the resort, out of the hotel that we were at, and they went into a safe place and called us from there. We'll call us on the way there as they were running. We talked to them pretty much the entire time that they were running. I'm walking, trying to, trying to figure out what's going on, and when we realize that something is going on, we leave the Adventure Dome. And right outside the Adventure Dome, there's the elevator stack for our rooms. And I tell Crystal, okay, because we had all the little, little, kids. little kids with us. And I was like, Crystal, go to the room, lock the door. I'm going to go find our other kids. So we take all of the younger kids up to the hotel room. The teens at this point, we were talking to them the whole time. They were just in McDonald's trying to get McDonald's. Um, they did hear the shots. And so they were really scared. They said they saw people like hiding under tables. They saw people running. Like it was just this crazy. McDonald's kicked them out and closed their gate. Um, no, so right McDonald's as that actually happened, let them in and locked them into the store. But we didn't know that at this point. So Crystal goes off to the elevators. And then I suddenly get a phone call from Ariana. 
And I pick it up and I'm like, hey, where are you at? She's like, dad, we heard shots. And this lady said that somebody had a weapon and we're just freaking out. We don't know what to do. And, and I'm so scared. And I was like, okay, where are you at? And she's trying to describe it to me. Um, so I guess there's a McDonald's on the other side of the hotel. Um, and I'm, I'm like, okay. So I walk down these escalators right outside the Adventure Dome. And there's paramedics everywhere and there's some guy he's Police injured officers. i didn't really look at it but as i'm walking down the stairs suddenly these 12 cops um come walking by me fully armed like looking for somebody ready to who knows what and so i'm like oh crud like what's happening and so i'm like ariana you got to tell me where you're at and so she's walking me through and so i have to walk through this situation cops everywhere everybody's freaking out and so I walk through, I go by the buffet, I walk down, there's some shops, all the shops are closed with the gates closed, everybody's in panic mode. And so I walk all the way through the casino and I find Ariana and she's with uh, all, of the all of the other kids besides Hannah and, uh, yeah, Hannah Hannah. and Hallie. Yeah. And so I, I, I walk up and the McDonald's is closed with their gate down and all the kids are sitting in there. And so McDonald's is like, okay, so we're going to open it up so all the teens can come out. And so they all come out. McDonald's closes the door again behind us. And we're like, okay, we're going to get to our room or I'm going to get you guys to the elevator that Crystal and the kids went on. And then I got to go find Hallie and Hannah. And I was waiting at the elevator for all of them, got them all. We all went to the room we were safe at this point and then i um, start looking for hannah and hallie we ping the location on their phone thankfully we can track their phones so i was very thankful for so that they're in the mind. hotel directly next door and so i'm trying to find my way out because I, I don't i didn't know which door they walked out or the easiest way to get out there i went out a door and it was the wrong door i walked out on the completely wrong side of the of the hotel and there's even more cops and everybody is just it's crazy and there's a helicopter flying over looking for somebody or something and so i realize okay i'm on the wrong side of the hotel so i end up walking all the way around the hotel and down las vegas boulevard over to the next casino or over to the next hotel and finally i find hallie and hannah and they are safe and I literally, I, I was out of they breath. They waited there for a while, though, until the situation was better. And then they were able to come back up when it was safe to the hotel and everything was good. We waited in the hotel um, for everything to clear out. And they say they finally told everybody that it was clear. Um, and we immediately left the resort checked out. And we went to um, a different one that we felt was safer and and that's how our night went. It was scary. It was scary. So leading up to this event, there was a lot of little, I mean, you could call them coincidences, but I call them guardian angels. There was a lot of situations that happened to make sure that we were all safe. And I look back on it now. So 30 minutes before all of this, I had actually told Aaron to leave the resort to go get a birthday cake for Lucas. And when we were sitting at the buffet eating, I was like, you need to go find like a grocery store or something, get a birthday cake, and then let's sing happy birthday to Lucas tonight. And he was like, okay, I'll do that. But for some reason, he didn't go right away. He followed me because I was, you know, with all the younger kids and whatnot, but, and Jake was with me and all that. But we went and we're looking at pictures and doing different things and he stayed by me. And I was like, you can go, like, we're good. Like, you I know, but see the pictures. Oh, you want to see? <laughs> but weird Thankfully. coincidence that happened because you wouldn't even have been there or you would have been walking might, through I, right I as the situation was exactly. happening. So that was the first one. The second one, so Hallie and Hannah were with all of the teens. Um, initially, they were going to McDonald's, but then they stopped in a shop because they were all looking at sweatshirts together. And then when they were walking, there was um, another shop with these really cute like shoes in it. And Hannah wanted to get matching sandals for her and I, so they stopped in that shop um, and were looking at the sandals. But if they hadn't stopped in there, they would have been walking through right as the situation was happening. The other thing was Lucas and his brother Elijah had forgot their cards to buy McDonald's. 
And so they were like, oh, we'll just run back to the room real quick and get, you know, our cards. And the kids are, or the other teens were like, oh, we'll just pay for you. You don't need to get your card. It's fine. Which I'm thankful for because, again, they would have been walking through the situation. So I do feel like there was all these little things that, thankfully, everybody was in a safe location when all of this happened. Or at least as safe as they could be in this kind of situation. The other thing was Joe was supposed to fly in um, to surprise Lucas for his birthday. Because he's like, I don't want to miss his birthday. And so he was going to fly in that morning um, and just help us and spend time with the kids and all of that. He actually missed his flight, which I don't think he's ever missed. Maybe he has missed a flight in the past. Wait, he's sitting in the background. Have you ever missed a flight? Nope, I worked for an airline and I never missed my flights. So he used to work for an airline and he has never missed a flight before. And he had a weird coincidence with his car and different things and he missed his flight. And, you know, had he been there, maybe the situation would have been different too. Like, there's just all these things, like weird things that happened, I felt like, throughout the day that just, I don't know. So I do feel like we were super blessed and we had, you know, guardian angels looking out for us in the situation. And I'm, I'm so glad that everybody is okay and that, you know, it turned out okay. So, it's so scary. supposedly, I don't know, the news is still coming out when we're recording this on the whole thing, but supposedly they're saying there was no injuries, though I saw some injuries from the windows, so I don't know if they're still, in, they're still investigating everything at this point, so we don't know what actually occurred, we just know what we experienced in those moments. Um, the girls said when they were running, it was just a mob of people just running from that area. And I can only imagine how scary that was. I know when I was trying to walk around the casino, there was a bunch of people that had like fallen and there was ambulances coming to help them. And That's where I heard the most of the injuries were from was, or all of them so the far. The panic. Is just from the so panic the injuries, the trample. Okay, Joe's saying the injuries that came in so far were from like people running and trampling and like that kind of thing. From what... Hallie and Hannah were in the beginning of it, of everyone running, and they said it was pretty organized running, like people weren't pushing them, that kind of thing, so that I was thankful for that. Um, but on the other end, it's been, it's just been a really rough week with my aunt passing away, and then now this whole situation, and it just has been just a real eye-opener on how precious and short life is, and... I was so thankful, like so From the moment I got that thankful. phone call from Hannah and Hallie, I was like, the, I, you get into this fight or flight mode and I'm like, okay, I got to find my kids no matter what. I got to push through crowds. I got to do whatever it takes. And then I remember getting to, to Hallie and Hannah and they were in this, the next hotel over and there's like this big globe and like I walk in and I see them both. And all three of us just burst into tears and we run up to each other and we just start hugging. And I just realized like how lucky we were that none of us got hurt. It's scary. And then when they got back up to the hotel, kind of the same situation, like, and you know, we hug a lot in our family. Like we're big huggers. We're constantly hugging over hellos and goodbyes. And we just do. It's just what it is. But this hug was different. And Hannah and Hallie both, when they hugged me, just like so tight and so, and we just like, we all just cried and just like, it was just different. And it was one of the scariest things that we've been through and the kids have been through at this point. Um, but I'm thankful that we're all okay. We're home safe now. And when we walked out, like when we left, we ended up leaving at like 9.30 at night, 10 o'clock at night to go to another hotel. And the parking lot there was just empty. Like everybody was so scared. And there were so many different people that were like, we're leaving, we're leaving. I mean, people. Um, one lady handed the keys to one of our kids and we're like, you can have our hotel room. We don't we need it. We for like, three days. Like, just take it. Take it. Take the card. And it's just like, I don't know. It's just... A crazy and scary experience, but... Our prayers go out to anybody that might have been injured in that whole situation. Um, it was very scary. Any families that are affected that. or kids that Absolutely. went had to experience that. Um, yeah, our hearts and prayers go out to all of you guys because it's a really scary situation. But they're but. able to figure out what happened. And On a side note, I would really like to thank Las Vegas Police Department. Um, from the moment that it started, within about 10 minutes, I would say... 
there was over 200 police officers easily on scene at that hotel, completely surrounding it, looking for whoever was going on. Like, I, I've never seen something so coordinated. And I got to say, um, it was very reassuring to have all of those guys there to help us, guys and gals. And paramedics and, paramedics, and just everybody like, that's involved with helping out and just being a part, you know doing their part in those situations and the way they handle things and keep everyone calm and just, yeah. Hug your kids extra tight and your family and don't let, oh, one quick thing I will say with that, um, with everything that had happened lately, um, we did make some amends with some family members and, and I'm super thankful for that because I feel like life is so short and there's so many times that you let a grudge or something small hold you back from those relationships that are super important. And we all get upset about things. It happens, but at some point, let it go because it's just going to keep you away from the people that you love and the people that you care about. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys next time. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.